So guys, welcome back to another video, and this one today we'll be trying out the 84 rated SBC Jonathan Card. Now uh, this item is one of the rewards for completing the Chinese Super League League SBC, and on paper this item looks pretty solid, so I'm looking forward to uh, trying it out today. We're actually over on my friend Dean's account for this video, he's let me borrow it so I don't have to complete the League SBC again because uh, I've already done it once on my main account. You can find a link to my friend's uh, YouTube channel in the description. Also in the description there's a link to download OneFootball which is a great free uh, football news app. Anyway guys, let's crack on and get into things shall we? So this is the team we're going to be using this Jonathan item in. Let's now take a look at this card. Now on paper, this card actually looks brilliant. I think so anyway. It's got good pace, 86, 86 dribbling 2, 83 shooting and 83 physicals. And on top of that, he's 6 foot, he's got high low work rates and he's got a 5 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Like on paper, like I said, this card looks absolutely fantastic. Let's now have a look at the in-game attributes for this item. So the pace section looks good enough. Shooting wise, decent attack positioning rating of 81, pretty good finishing of 85 and also pretty good uh, lot, uh, shot power of 86. Sadly though, his composure isn't the best. So uh, that's obviously something we're going to have to watch out for. The passing department also isn't looking too great. He's got an all right short passing stat and a uh, decent curve. But other than that, every other attribute in that section doesn't look too appealing over in the dribbling bit we've got good agility of 87 hopefully that feels good in game i'm a bit worried with this guy being a tall striker though a uh, good ball control of 86 and decent in-game dribbling of 87 are the standouts in that column physically this guy's got pretty good jumping of 87 and with him being six foot i am expecting him to be good aerially really good stamina of 92 and pretty good strength of 84 um, so yeah, things are looking pretty decent for this card. I'm looking forward to trying it out. The only thing I'm a bit worried about, if I'm being honest, is the composure. But uh, we'll see what that's like in game. So without further ado, let's get into some matches. Let's try this out item out. Okay, so for the Brazilians' debut, this is what we're up against. It's um, it's an almost full Premier League side, but it's got a, a power de Bauer in the middle slot. But um, still, nonetheless, very good side, and uh, be interesting to see how Jonathan does in his first game. Got ourselves a corner here. We're going to try and swing it in for Jonathan. And the ball's going in the back of the net. And Jonathan's got a goal. Um, yeah, I just didn't expect that header to go in, to be honest. Uh, that's why I was so surprised when it did. Like, seriously, his goalkeeper should have stopped that. That was not a good goal uh, to concede for my opponent. This is post-commentary Kieran, not live commentary Kieran. I've just noticed when looking back at the replay, it's not actually Jonathan's header. The header is actually at him. It hits him and then deflects in. And he's been credited with the goal. There's a chance... Hulk trying to open up space to whip the ball into the box. Eventually does so, but... Oh, it's bounced to Jonathan, who flicks it over the defender and then volleys it into the back of the net. That's a great goal from the Brazilian. Showing off a bit of Brazilian flair with the flick over the defender. Once again, the shot wasn't fantastic and the keepers made a bit of a meal over it. But uh, nonetheless, we will take it. So at the break in game number one, the score is 3-1. As you can see, it's been a relatively close um, first half, but... We've been clinical. Free for free, we have been pretty clinical. Actually, have we? I mean, his goalkeeper's been pretty poor, and that is definitely something worth mentioning, especially the first two goals. I really do feel like uh, my opponent's goalkeeper could have done a lot better. Anyway, for the second half, we will be changing formation. We're going to switch to the 4 triple 2 as that's the formation I am the most comfortable with. We're also going to make a couple of sub subs, sorry, but uh, of course, Jonathan will remain up front. Got a chance now with Neymar. Gonna whip the ball in. It's gonna come for Jonathan on the volley and a left footed strike goes perfectly into the corner, bounces in off the post, and that has given us our free goal lead back. And that surely now should be game over. The guy just floated into a bit of space at the back and then side footed volleys it into the bottom corner. No keeper stopping that one. And after that goal, my opponent has had enough. He has indeed rage quit. So uh Jonathan with a hat trick on debut. Pretty good performance. Um, like I've said, uh, the first two goals were a bit, you know, on the fence, a bit lucky, but uh, that third goal was actually a really nice finish. So um, not a bad performance from him in game number one, and uh, let's get into another match and uh, see how we do against a different opposition. Next up, we face a side which has got a bunch of special items in it. He's got the Ultimate Scream Sheka, One to Watch Alexis Sanchez, Ultimate Scream Ron Wagnerly, and um, Inform Verratti and Theo Hernandez. Early chance, Douglas Costa whips it into the box, and on the volley, Jonathan, left-footed strike, but saved by Donnarumma. Now oh, here's a chance, 
Jonathan with the flick. Still going. And the strike. Oh, he's hit the bar. Header. Goal. There we go. We eventually get the goal. Jeez. Didn't think we were going to score. Chance to break. Jonathan, can he get through his gap? Can he get past Ron McNulley? He can. Dinks over the keeper. And it's two. Just like that, it's two. Inside 15 minutes. Great start to this game. Alan slides the ball through. Jonathan does really well. Gets it to Alan. Alan returns the favour. Can he get on the end of it? Yes, he can. Really nice bit of team play there. Alan and Jonathan linking up very nicely. And uh, Jonathan's got our third goal in this game. Yes, I know. I blew a 2-0 lead. I'm not very good at defending. There's a chance for Jonathan to break now. It's a chance for him to get an assist. And I can see a player free at the back stick. Can he find Costa? He can, but Costa's header sadly does not go anywhere near the goal. That's a typical FIFA 20 header, that. And there is the whistle for the break. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a 3-2 scoreline at half time. As you can see, it's been an absolutely action-packed game, uh, being goals galore at each end. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that I blew a two-goal no uh, two lead, to be honest, but um, obviously happy to be in at the break with the lead. Hopefully in the second half we can extend it. Uh, so we will switch formation for the second stanza. Uh, you know the drill, 4 triple 2 with Neymar and Mbappe coming on. Hernandez finds Mbappe and him and Jonathan are going to link up nicely here. How's the through ball? Is it perfect? It's... Oh! Mbappe's got on the end of it, but he just can't make the most of it. Donnarumma somehow stops the shot. Oh, what a bit of play this is. What a bit of play this is. Can we get a goal now? With Semedo, he's pulled his keeper. Big mistake and Jonathan will tie this game up. That'll be it. Sand sealed and delivered. That'll be the match winner. Genuinely, for like the last 20 FIFA minutes, I've been under constant pressure. We finally get a chance to break. And, um, yeah, we win the game. There is the full-time whistle. We've won the game. Four goals to three. And, um, yeah, that game was pretty insane, to be honest. Like, like I've said, I took a very early lead, and I thought this game was just going to end up being a walkover. But, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. I, um, I bottled a 2-0 lead, which I'm still not too happy about. But, um... Yeah, it's happened. Anyway, how was Jonathan in that game? Pretty good, to be honest. He linked up really well uh, with the attack, got himself a couple of goals as well. A couple of decent goals too, which was pleasing, but also um, a couple of fortunate ones. But uh, that seems to be the kind of goal that this guy scores. He's not the most reliable player in front of goal, but um, he's effective, which is a strange thing to say, but um, that's honestly how I feel about him. Anyway, let's get into another game. In game number three, this is what we're facing. It's actually a nice little hybrid, Premier League and Syria. He's got Aguero and Dybala up front, so we've got to watch out for them. Um, I'm going to presume in game he's going to change formation because currently he's got a, a CDM playing in the cam role. Down at this right edge, he comes inside to Vidal. Oh, got a bit lucky. Got a bit lucky as Jonathan gets around this man. Pulls off the finish short, but it's saved by Handanovic. So, the half-time whistle has just blown, and, uh, yeah, pretty boring first half, to be honest. We really didn't have uh, too many chances, and, uh, as you can see, we're up against it. My opponent's had many more chances than me, so we need to make some changes for the second half. And um, We are going to switch to the 4-2-3-1 formation, and uh, we're going to see how we're going to do with that. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to go for triple two just because I love it. I don't know why. This is just the formation for me this year. Alan finds Jonathan, who thinks that we're Hulk. And now Mbappe slides the ball through, but oh, mistake from my opponent, but Handanovic makes the save. Mbappe slides the ball through, Jonathan returns the favour, Mbappe, Jonathan link up again, and there we get a nice goal. That wasn't even English, and there we go, it's a nice finish is what I was trying to say. That's some really nice link up play from Jonathan and Mbappe. In the end, uh, apparently we're up against a goalkeeper mover, and uh, he made it easy for me. Mbappe puts the ball in, and Jonathan tries to get on the end of it, but Jao Cancelo puts in an amazing tackle. There's Jonathan, on the edge of the box, tries to open up a shot, but it's just pulled, pushed and pulled by Matuidi, and eventually knocked off the ball. And there is the full-time whistle. Unfortunately, this game has ended in a one-all draw. This game was much tighter than the previous two, and uh, my opponent's centre-backs were pretty good, and um, they did well to uh, contain Jonathan for most part in this match. Nonetheless, I thought he actually played uh, relatively well in this match. Just wasn't as clinical as uh, I hoped he would be. But um, overall, I've been pretty pleased with his performances, if I'm being honest, and we'll discuss that more in the summary, which we're going to get to in about one second. 
that one second is now over and look we're on the summary page so uh yeah let's get into this shall we so how was this item in game it was um it was one of them fun cards to use to be honest and um, the reason it's fun is because this card offers something different to uh the normal items we use in ultimate team and um, having a tall striker with decent pace and uh, decent dribbling stats isn't actually that common so it was uh, fun to use this guy and um, so let's break things down shall we and um, pace wise in game really don't have too many complaints uh, the guy feels relatively quick he's not one of them players who's going to be able to sprint through defenses and um, like every time he's not a player that's going to spot a gap and be able to sprint through it but if he's given space he will break away and um, positionally I actually thought he was really good he, his positioning stat is good but it's not great but I actually thought his run making and general positioning in game was actually brilliant so very happy with that shooting wise yeah he's good but he's not great I feel like his composure does hurt him a lot because when this guy's under pressure his shots are nowhere near as effective as when this guy is in space when this guy's in space his shot power is great and his general finishing is decent off both feet too might I add but uh, when he's under pressure he definitely does come a bit unstuck passing wise overall the guy's pretty average he's definitely not a complete forward but um, his passing obviously isn't horrendous like with a lot of strikers in ultimate team the short passing's okay but the long passing is pretty poor Dribbling wise, um, how is this guy? Not too bad to be honest, dribbles well for a big man is what I would say. Sometimes it does feel like the ball does get stuck under his feet, but um, overall for a tallest striker, I don't think he's too bad on the ball, but he doesn't feel as agile as his in-game stats do indeed suggest in my opinion. Once again, I feel like that's another thing like his composure effects, because when this guy's in space, doesn't feel too bad on the ball, but when he's under a bit of pressure, you do notice heavier touches physically very pleased with this item in game he's pretty strong and he does battle a decent amount stamina absolutely fantastic this guy can go for the full game with no issues which is awesome and uh, aerially overall pretty pleased with this item is a great player to aim for from not just crosses set pieces and also um goal kicks and also just when you're pinging the ball up the field he's pretty good for a hold up play so uh, overall, I'd give this guy about an 8 out of 10 to be honest. I think he's a good striker, but I don't think he's like a great striker. But nonetheless, it was a fun card to use. If you're going to put a chem style on this guy, I would advise Sniper because uh, that's going to boost his dribbling and shooting attributes by a significant amount. And it also boosts his composure as well, which is obviously something which I think needs highlighting. I wish this item's balance and composure were better because obviously when he's under pressure, when he's knocked, uh, when taking off a pass or shot, he is much less effective. But um, other than those two things, I actually think this card is pretty solid. And that five-star weak foot is um, obviously a very big positive for this card. So with all that being said, do I think this item is worth picking up? Well, uh, the cost of the SBC is currently around 100k. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't pay um, 100k for this card because... Uh, you could just get someone like Ben Yedda, who's a striker with a five-star weak foot, who probably could do just as good as a job. So, value for money isn't great on this card, but still, it's a pretty fun item to use. Hopefully, the price of the SBC does come down in um, the coming days. So, guys, you've now heard my thoughts on the 84-rated SBC Jonathan card. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it. If you've got any questions about this item, pop them in that comment section down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.